actually went to school studying mathematics and physics. And I thought, even as I was in my junior year, that I was going to be a physicist. But there was something in me. I wanted to not think about the road not taken. And so I wanted to have at least one business experience before I went down the path of math school and, and, and physics. So I ended up interning at uh, an actuarial firm. And I, I suppose you could say I fell in love with the, uh, the experience. Uh, I fell in love with uh, the actuarial work. Well, I decided to pursue an education in actuarial science because um, math was something that I always loved. When I was in high school, we would take aptitude tests and actuarial science would always come to the top. The more I learned about it, the different math disciplines involved, um, the more I knew that it was an education that I wanted to pursue. And I realized then that there were many things that you could do outside of traditional actuarial work with the skill set that you develop being an actuary. I realized that it was really important to me that I could have that connection with the membership that we were supporting and help them find ways to be healthier. I didn't, I didn't really choose a non-traditional career path. I found myself in a non-traditional career path along the way. Um, coming out of school, I was lucky enough to get a, a job um, with an actual consulting company. Sort of went through the, the, the standard career path, like progressing to being a, a consultant. I found I was sort of gravitating to helping people solve, you know, still more very heavy analytics, um, you know, very heavy in the statistics and analytics problems and that I, I really got a lot of satisfaction from like, getting deep with the data and the analytics. I knew in high school that I wanted to be an actuary. I knew that the idea of, of running a business, whatever business it may have been, I certainly did not know healthcare is where I would end up, uh, and I didn't know what type of work I would be doing, but I knew that the work I'm doing today is exactly what I would have liked it to have been when I was in high school. Kind of early on in my career, I had started in life and annuities, and I switched over to health. And, and I just, I never looked back. Health insurance was just so dynamic. And it's also where I fell in love with data. I became an actuary to do was to help solve problems like this. <clears throat> I didn't become an actuary to sit, well, I did, I have to admit. I became an actuary because I thought I would solve problems sitting in the back room with the eye shade. But that was really not very satisfactory. Being at the table and feeling that your problem solving actually influences action on the part of a client is what brings me back. 